Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, we're going to get into some politics today. And guys, this is local politics for me because I live in Maryland, and that's near Virginia. And guys, look at this. Candidate in high stakes Virginia election performs sex acts with husband in live videos, guys. Yes, you heard that correctly. Okay? Hey, guys, 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 guys. Of course, all these women, all these 304s are... Are supporting her okay so guys we're gonna get into this but before we do guys please remember to like subscribe drop a comment guys join the lives on tuesdays and thursdays and yeah guys let's get into this okay a candidate a high states legislative contest in virginia had sex with her husband in live videos and posted on, on a pornographic website and asked viewers to pay them money in return for carrying out specific acts Screenshots of Susanna Gibson on the website were shared with the Associated Press. So the campaign for Gibson, a Democrat running for a seat in the Virginia House, uh, issued a statement on Monday in which it denounced the sharing of the videos as a violation of the law and her privacy. Now, wait a minute, guys. They put stuff out there on the Internet. So is it really her privacy? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. How crazy is that? Do people not understand how the internet works, guys? And isn't this funny for her to just not take accountability? Because, guys, look. Hold on. She is a nurse practitioner, a wife, and a mother of two. Let's go to her website here. Let's see. Look at this. Mom, nurse practitioner, public health expert. Funny how it doesn't say wife, right, guys? Funny how that works, okay? But she is married, okay? And guys, let's look at some of her politics here, right? Of course. Let's see. All priorities. Reproductive rights, okay? Of course, of course. Baby deletion. And then LDHD TV. Guys, who knew that, that that was coming, right? And guys, look at this. This is proof, guys. People think that that women of a certain, you know, uh, 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 education le level, whatever, can't be 304s. Guys, guess what? You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run them up. Guys, it doesn't matter. If they're doctors, lawyers, professors, teachers, it doesn't matter, dude. They, they can all be 304s, okay? Guys, here's the second article. Look, so if you're an Indiana candidate who live streams sex videos, draw support from women because of course she does. Of course she does, guys. Of course she does. This sisterhood thing is strong, man. Look, a Democratic Virginia candidate who's raised was rattled by the revelation that she and her husband live streamed themselves having sex move forward with, with her campaign Tuesday and do some early support in the high stakes contest. Susanna Gibson, a nurse practitioner with two children, is running against a Republican businessman in one of a handful of highly competitive races that could determine the balance of power in the general assemblies. The race and the suburban di the district outside of Richmond has attracted large amounts of spending uh, and interest for an off-year legislative race. Gibson has gained support as a, a baby deletion rights candidate in a state uh, that is an increasingly rare baby deletion access point to the South, where many states have passed restrictions because, of course, they all support baby deletion, guys. Now, guys, honestly, uh, I just find it rich, right, that we honestly live in a time where, like, things like baby deletion and all these things, we don't really, like, these modern women really don't have a lot of real problems. So, like, they're worried about what other women in other states are doing. It's like, dude, really? You have 70-something your old chicks that are, oh, baby deletions. Like, are you going to get a, an abortion? You're 75. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Please. Here we go. On Monday, 
The Washington Post and the Associated Press reported that Gibson had live streamed videos on, was that, that Chatterbait? A legal website where viewers can watch live webcam footage featuring nudity and adult activity. She was mocked on Twitter. But Senator L. L Luis Lucas quickly came to her defense, calling on voters to make this the biggest fundraising day of Gibson's campaign. Many women voters retweeted the link. Anyone who looks at this knows it's a hit job, said Amanda Linton, a 45-year-old defense contractor. Please, guys, a hit job? Seriously? They're just, they're just letting people know what's out there. And guys, all's fair in politics. This chick should have known better. Did she just forget? Did she just think that, hey, I'm running for public office, so no one's going to really know that I've been putting my, my JJ out there? I don't want to be on the news, dog. Well, it's a little late for that, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Look at that. She said, look, it's nobody's business. She didn't break any laws by doing this. She had sex with her husband. I mean, my God, guys. Come on, man. Do they not know how the internet works? Guys, this is why you never, ever put your, your, your private business out on the internet. Do not do it. And look, Lucas assumes that the videos were, they were leaked by a Republican in an attempt to embarrass Gibson and hurt her campaign. They're looking for anything that they can find on any candidate that they think might sway the voters. Emily's List, an advocacy group for Democratic female can candidates, also defended Gibson because, of course, they would. Of course, they would. She originally ran for office because of the overturning of Roe v. Wade, and she's been very outspoken on standing up for reproductive rights. Of course, guys, because she is a 304. Clown world, guys clown world guys this <laughs> i know that that just pearly, pearly things has been kind of trolling making the shirt saying women shouldn't vote <laughs> right and people are all mad but guys when you look at stuff like this and the fact that hold on i think there's a picture of her what does she look, look like here hold on um let me see here this is her <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> They're not showing anything too ra racy, so this video won't 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 get take, taken down. But you can see, guys, you can see. You know, there she is. There she is, man. You know, there she is, guys. And this is who these women are coming out to support. You know, guys. <laughs> and you notice once again guys that it doesn't say wife in any of her stuff okay it only says mother and nurse practitioner if you actually go back to her actual site right hold on well where are we look at this mom nurse practitioner public health expert do you see wife anywhere on here she has a picture with her husband yes but she doesn't refer to herself as a wife. Guys, 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 clown world. And this is why I, I say, guys, you cannot be pro-male. You cannot have men's best interests at heart and be a Democrat. You can't do it. You cannot do it. You can be an independent. You can be a moderate. You can be a, a green par party. You can be anything else. You cannot be a Democrat. You can't. You cannot do it. You cannot. Guys, let me know what you think. <laughs> let me know if you guys think she'll, that she'll get elected, man. Because I, I hope not. So, all right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here.